What's going on, everybody? This is Chris Cab, and right now you guys are watching We Love Music. Fr. Yes, you know, a little bit, just really in the in the mixing of it. You know, the instrumentation's the same, but we really brought out certain sounds to, uh, you know, a little better here, definitely, for the album. You never, you never really know when it's not. That's the trickiest part. You know, when you're creating music, it's like, you know, you have a, a song and you're listening to it all the time. And for me, I, I always play it in my car. And, um, you know, I get the song out of the studio and I'm playing it in the car and I'm driving around. So the tricky part is to know when to stop. Because sometimes you could add too much, you know what I mean? And um, that's another challenge in itself. You know, you have to have someone who's like, oh, maybe there's something too much going on in, in here. And uh, even with one of the songs on the album that I have on this album, we really stripped it down a lot. You know, we produced it, actually overproduced it. And then the finished version is like way stripped down and only a few, a few key elements. For me, what makes a great song is, is uh, first of all, the concept has to be easy to understand. Um, you know, especially the top line and the, the hook. It really has to have something that's simple and it's easy, you know, especially when you're trying to make a song that, that'll, you know, go around the world or, or that many people can understand, not, not only, you know, one language. The important part is just to make something that everyone can understand, um, you know. The second thing for me is the intro has to really capture you in. You know, the first 20 seconds of the song has to really pull you in and it has to have something that, that makes you like, what is this, you know? And that's the best way to, to really make a great song, something like that. And then after that, it's, it's really just picking, like I said, those few key sounds that are interesting enough to, to capture people's attention. And, and once you have all that, and you know, it's very simple, like I said, to, to understand, that's a great song. In fact, uh, just like Bob Marley. Just like Bob Marley, you know, he was... Simple lyrics. Everything, the concept was, was so easy. It was love and it was like, you know, mostly it was like, I want to, you know, spread positivity and, and, and help people. So that's, a, you know, that's one of the, the greatest worldwide concepts is love and positivity, especially now. And, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff happening around the world. So people now more than ever is like, they want to be happy, you know, just as Pharrell has made now. It's like everyone can understand that, you know. Voices in my mind, say For sure, man. For me, Bob Marley is, is uh, you know, one of my greatest inspirations. And uh, I learned so much from listening to his music just as a little kid. You know, you don't know any better. I grew up eight or nine years old and, and you know, the first really music you heard was reggae. And I really didn't understand like, you know, the lyrics or maybe, you know, what I was listening to, but you understood like, it was like about love and positivity. You felt it, you felt the vibe, you know? And um, that's something I always try to pass along in my music. Sure, you know, um, definitely, man. Um, where I grew up in Miami is like, Miami is almost like another world. It's like the main language is Spanish over there. And, um, you know, the Cuban culture and, and the Hispanic culture at that is, is so, you know, it's so obvious when you, when you just, when you drive around Miami from the, from the way people treat you and the way people act. It's very warm and loving and it's like sun and, you know, um, great music, great food, you know, so it's very interesting. And, and the ocean, of course, is like right there. So you always swimming and it's very like, almost like you're in the Caribbean in Miami. Yeah, um, mostly listening to, to Bob Marley for, re, for me, that was like, you know, that's how I learned how to sing, really just singing along to, to Bob and, and, you know, some other great reggae legends. But Sting learned in a similar way, I feel like, or was trying to, you know, the sound he was trying to, to bring into his punk and ska world, this new world that he created with the police, was very much inspired by reggae music, you know? So even the way he would sing, was he was, he was going after a reggae sound. He would really stretch for the notes and have a lot of emotion. And, and this is something he learned from reggae music, 100%. So, but to hear the, you know, that my voice sounds like Sting is always an amazing compliment because he's definitely one of my, my great inspirations as well. Okay. Just a little air. <laughs> yes, you know, um, I've had the, the opportunity to work with some great, great musicians and Pharrell and Wyclef and some great producers as well. But, um, you know, Lenny Kravitz is someone I've always wanted to work with. Uh, you know, his, his style, the way he writes, you know, the, the way he produces his music is very cool. And it's, uh, 
in a way that I think would complement my music. The meaning to the title, Where I Belong, for me, you know, and there's also a song on the album called Where I Belong. Um, you know, for me, it's a, a very much a song about growing in, growing up and, and really growing into who you are and finding out where you belong. And especially the song is, is definitely about someone just searching for their individuality, searching for who they are, and really trying to figure out, you know, where they fit or where they don't fit or where they, you know, where they belong, where they feel they belong. So the album just speaks a great deal of, of you know, like growing pains and love and, and a lot about relationships as well, but most of all, like finding out who you are. And especially if it's like after heartache or, or in love, it's like you gotta feel, you know, who you are as a person through that whole time and, and how you react with other people. So the album. For me, I belong uh, making music, man. And, uh, you know, just always trying to promote positivity and love and, and hopefully one day help people with my music. <laughs>